In this video, we are going to um, use the values from the accelerometer and we're going to change the um, user values to read and tell which way the actual screen is and we're going to rotate a character on the screen in relation to those values. So to first off, what we need to do is we need to display a character. Um, so I just need to go as we did previously, sense dot show letter and I'm going to show the awesome letter D. Okay, so it's going to display letter D. Now I'm going to come down here, I'm going to keep the same the code that we had in our previous program is here. Um, so I'm just going to add now um, an adjustment. Now here you can see what I'm going to do. If X has a value of 1G, um, then I want it to re rotate 270 degrees. Um, if it has um, a value of negative 1G, I want it to rotate 90 degrees. If Y has a value of negative 1 degree, ne 1G, I want to rotate 180 degrees. Otherwise, I want to just rotate 0 degrees. Radio. So let's just have a look how we do it. Now, because I've got different options there, this is obviously an if statement because it's a condition and we are going to um, select one of the options at any given time. So um, selecting x, if the x value equals 1, um, if x equals 1, and then I come into here and I basically say sense dot um, set rotation, which we've done previously. If I spell it right, um, set rotation to 70, Oop, no, yep, and then that's okay. So now I come back to here and I say sense hat and then I go um, L if, and the next test up here is going to be if X equals negative one, um, then I want it to the sense dot set rotation to be 90 and then another LF for the third possible option which is X um, sorry Y equals negative um, 1 then I want the um, to set the rotation to 180 and then finally um, everything else fails if none of those are the case in which case obviously it would be that y is 1 um, else in that case we just want to go sense set oh, let's try spelling rotation well I might have to go away and practice that for a little while okay so now I've got all those it's going to run in an endless loop um, I want you to pause the program and have a little bit of a speculation and see if you can predict what is going to happen right now that you've actually paused that I'm going to run this program and we'll see that D is showing here and go over to the pie and I'm going to move the pie around so if I pick the pie up and if I turn it on its side you can see that it's actually changing It picks up which way is up and it adjusts appropriately. So it is doing as we want it to do. So there we go. We'll see you in the next video.